What is up fellow Minecraft fans, today I bring to you part 3 of the Minecraft Hardcore series. I know you've all been waiting for this, and I'm just trying to make it the highest quality I can possible for releasing this to you guys. Last time I asked for a goal of 50 likes for part 3, and you guys completely smashed it. I think we're at like 160 or something right now. So I've never asked for a like goal of 50 before, but this time I'm going to break that record. I'm going to ask for 100 likes on this video for part 4. I've never asked for anything higher than 100 before, so this is going to be the first time I've ever asked for this high of a like goal. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. So, Minecraft came out with yet another update. We are now in 20w22a. How much did they update this game, bro? It's crazy. And I also decided to go check back to that tower because this comment told me to shout out to you and it apparently will give us lots of deals with our villagers so I went ahead and did that. I was expecting them to be pretty hard but it was actually quite easy to defeat them all because my gear was godly now. I also got some pumpkin seeds while I was out there and that was pretty nice. And I put that banner right in the front of our house, I don't know where else to put it. Walked into the village and I saw this bar in the top and it said raid, so I'm guessing I'm doing it right. It was pretty much just the same thing as that post, except there's more of those guys. And those axe people did so much damage, the guys that were holding axes. And yeah, I was I was pretty bad at this, but it was it was pretty fun. It was pretty fun, not gonna lie. My aiming though was pretty horrendous. And I'm just gonna speed this up because this is not the most interesting thing to watch. And yeah, my aiming with a bow is not the greatest thing in the world, as you can tell from this clip. And there were multiple waves. There were so many people in the distance. I just saw them all coming toward me. It was pretty scary. There were so many of them in that big bow looking thing. It even turned into night and my aim was still very bad. I was trying to hit this witch for like ages, dude. I just gave up and went to go kill her with the sword. One kid left. I thought this was the end, but it was the start of another round. How many rounds are there, dude? If there are more rounds after this, they really need to nerf this thing, dude. It took me like 20 straight minutes. Not too long after, though, I finished up with the last raider. There we go, hero of the village. I finally completed it. I'm so thankful that no creepers came and like exploded me, that would have been really bad. Our armor dude died though, so that's a rip in the chat, because like he was he was one of my best villagers. No cap bro, he had all the best armor for me and now I can't even trade with them anymore, this was so sad. Our Fletcher also got zombified, but good thing I know how to cure this, I think you need a weakness potion and a golden apple. So I came back later with exactly what I needed and I think this worked because it made that weird sound, so I'm pretty sure that worked. Yeah, we'll come back later and see what happens. I also just crafted up a grindstone and I put my diamond leggings in there because projectile protection 1 was just a pretty bad <laughs> enchant. So I enchanted again and I got unbreaking 3. Only unbreaking 3 and on level 3 enchant. I did it all over again and this time I got protection 4 also, so that was pretty lucky. And I spent the rest of the day trying to get a new armor and now we have to deal with this all over again. Starting from zero. I went back home and threw away all my axes and just sorted out my inventory a little bit because we were ready to go fight the dragon. But real quick, I wanted to just disenchant my helmet and then let's see what we could get. Hopefully it's better. Nice. Okay, it's definitely better, but I don't know about the fire protection on there. I don't think that's gonna be that useful, but it's it's probably better than what we had before. I packed up all of my stuff and got my eyes of Ender and we started heading out toward where it led me. I came across another village while I was going to where the eyes led me, and these villagers honestly are pretty useless at this point because like, I don't know, there's nothing there that would really help us. I looked at the chest and I just let them all be and did not disturb them so they could live on with their happy villager lives. Came across another ruined portal and also these don't have that good of loot for us right now, mainly just gold, which we don't really need at all. In the chest there was a mending shovel. A silk touch shovel and a curse of vanishing hoe. I didn't know what that did, but it was red, so I was, I don't know, that looked kind of scary. Probably not good. 
Also found a swamp biome, and there was a slime that I killed in there. So now we have some slime balls or whatever we need it for. Maybe a sticky piston. I don't know when we're ever going to need a sticky piston, but yeah, we found some slime. Pretty nice. Eventually, the eyes led me to only one area. So I think this was the spot where the portal was. I walked many days. It took a long time, but we eventually got there. And the eyes were all leading to about the same spot. I was excited to see what the stronghold had for us. So I started mining down, and the hero of the village effect was kind of a waste at this point. And I ended up falling down in this hole, in this tiny ravine, and I got really scared, but there were bricks above me. So I think I was chilling, I was almost there. Eventually made it in the stronghold, and I found this weird looking dungeon type thing, and there was invisible spiders. I didn't even know invisible spiders were in this game, I was confused. Why were, why were they here? How did they get invisible in the first place? Blue was pretty bad. I found one of these libraries, and this stuff is all boring, I'm just gonna cut it, no one wants to see me loot boring stuff. Yeah, there just wasn't that much, to be honest, in any of these strongholds. Minecraft needs to do a stronghold update, like, it just doesn't feel good. Um, a Protection 3 Curse of Binding book, another red enchantment looked bad, and just some books and paper. I sorted out my inventory when I found the room with the portal, and I think I was pretty much ready to jump on in. I also forgot to record myself putting in the actual eyes, so that was kind of dumb. The moment of truth, it was time to jump inside of the portal. So I'm just gonna let you guys watch me fight the end dragon. I don't think there's really much stuff to say right here, but yeah, enjoy. And there we go, just like that, I have beaten the game. There really isn't much stuff to do now in Minecraft Hardcore. We beat the final boss of the entire game, the credits are rolling through. I think maybe I should probably go outside now, or like read a book or something, I've been playing Minecraft for so long. The game is over, you guys can, you guys can leave the video now, it's all over. I beat the game, let's go. I'm just joking, there's still more stuff to do, I think, at least. You guys should probably put some suggestions in the comments below, but yeah, we got right back into our world. Next up, I wanted to take over the village that was near my house, so first, I was gonna have to make some minor improvements. I wanted to build a wall around the whole entire village. This took so long. It took many days, well, more like two days, actually. And I also ended up building this, like, weird gate-looking thing. I mean, I think it's pretty cool. I finally ended up finishing up the wall, and I think it looked pretty nice all the way around. It took a really long time though, and I had to go to bed because it was finally getting dark. And the next day I just spent putting torches all around the whole village to make sure mobs would not spawn. And in the front of the village, like where I would enter, I made like a little opened gate, kind of. And I think it, it looked pretty good. I liked the old like iron bars with the stone brick wall design, so I tried it again, I looked back, and it looked pretty good. I added some pathway at the bottom just to make it blend in a little bit more to the village. I also went to my nearby desert and I was getting some sand because this comment said that cartographers are epic because you can just get glass panes and it's one of the best ways to get emeralds and that's exactly what I did. Next day I went and got a cartographer villager. 
and to trade him a bunch of paper, I had to make a huge sugarcane farm, and that's what I did also. And sugarcane farms look pretty sick, so yeah, I, I made it pretty, pretty big in the front area of the village. It was that time again, and I went to my cow pen and just started slaughtering every cow for their epic meat. I didn't really like how this farm was just shown in the middle of the village, so I decided to tear it down. And the villager decided to jump right in front of me, and I, I just smacked my shovel on him, and it was not good. I laid out like a basic plan for a villager house that I was planning on building, and I think it looks pretty good. Maybe a bit too small, but I don't know. On day 69, I continued building the house, and I wanted this house to be kind of like a villager breeding area where I could just breed a bunch of villagers. Um, and I don't know, I, I, it's a pretty simple design. You guys can, like, I don't, you guys can't really follow along, actually, never mind, it's probably really fast. But yeah, this took like two days. And also expanded out to this little area of the village. It's, it's gonna be like an industrial area where I can build some machines and stuff over here, like a super smelter, which is I was gonna work on. After many mumbo jumbo tutorials later, I got this really simple super smelter going and I was about to test it out to see if it worked with sand because I wanted to get glass panes. And it seemed like it was working pretty well. I was getting some glass out pretty fast. It was double the speed of a single furnace. And yeah, these gave me a really good income of emeralds and this was definitely going to be the most easiest way for me to get emeralds right now. Next up, I wanted to improve my armor and my swords and stuff, but to do that, I wanted to get a mending villager first, just so I don't have to like worry about repairing it or anything. And this villager really didn't want me to get mending, dude. I literally sat here for so long trying to get mending, and he just didn't want to give it to me. It was, I, I'm pretty sure the chance is like 1 in 30 to get mending, and I swear I've done this like a hundred times. Like it even, like, it was just, it was dark outside and I just had to go to bed. I couldn't do it on this day. The next day I went back and I gave it another try. At the end of this day, my axe even broke and I was just sick of it at this point. This villager really did not want to give it to me. On day 74, I just did some peaceful buildings. I just wanted to take a break from all this mending villager stuff and I would try it again later. This house was actually coming out to look pretty nice. I went back to the villager and I did some spins for good luck, and we actually got mending, finally. Dude, it probably took me about 30 minutes of just straight up sitting down and just breaking lecterns, it was dumb. It was finally day 75, and we finally made it to the very end. And I went to go enchant some books, and long story short, we didn't get a single good enchant. Also, I found an egg, and this happened. I didn't know this was even possible, but apparently you can get up to four chickens in a single egg. I swear I've never even seen like myself getting two chickens in a single egg. I never knew that was even a thing. That's kind of cool that we got it on day 75. I finished up the day with harvesting up some sugarcane, and I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone who has been watching this series, because it's been one of the most popular series on my channel by far. So thank you guys, and for all the Fortnite fans that I have from before, don't worry, I am not quitting Fortnite, I am just taking a little break, you know, playing some other games, because Minecraft has been a ton of fun recently. And I've also been playing some Terraria, but I don't know if that's, I'm really good at making videos on that. You guys can just let me know in the comments what I should do. So yeah, last time, I set a like goal of 50 likes for the uh, last episode, and you guys completely destroyed that and hit we hit like 150 or something, somewhere, somewhere like that. So today, I'm going to be going for the highest like goal I've ever asked. Today, I'm going to be asking for 100 likes. Can we hit 100 likes for part for the finale? So yeah, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Hey, Dad, turn this shit up.